everyone, this is Sylvia with Silver Pine Kiko Goats. Welcome back to my channel today. I'm going to be showing you guys how to collect cashmere out of your own goats at home. So today I'm going to be collecting cashmere from two different breeds of goats. I'm going to be collecting it from Karma, the Boer Goat, I have her on the stand right now. And next I'll be collecting it from my purebred Kiko Buck. So please join me on today's video and we'll see how it goes. But anyways, I've already collected some of Karma's cashmere. She's the Boer Goat on the stand right now. Um, let me show you what that looks like. Here's her cashmere. I'm going to be keeping it in separate bags because every goat's fiber is a little bit different. And then Cassie, the goat that was staying here to be bred with my buck, Santiago, um, while she was here, I also collected a little bit of her cashmere. And this is hers right there. And I'm going to be using a slicker brush to collect the cashmere. And I'll be collecting it in small strips at a time so it doesn't get tangled and messed up. You want to collect the cashmere raw. Um, it's better to leave it raw, not wash the goat using any soap or anything. And then if you desire, you can wash the cashmere after. And then as you go through, you can pull out the guard hairs, which is the hair on the outside of a goat's undercoat. The undercoat is the cashmere that I will be collecting today. So I'll be using the slicker brush, but another brush you can also use is a curry comb. Those also work really well, so you can use those too. So I don't have anybody filming for me today, so please bear with me. Um, I'm going to try to film this the best I can and um, we'll see how it goes. So anyways, after I show you how to collect the cashmere from your goats today, um, we'll be comparing it at the end and kind of see which which cashmere is better or which which fiber is more more fine and has a better texture, whether it's the full blood boer goat or the full blood kiko goat. So we're gonna compare those two and see what it's like. So now I'll get started on Karma and I'll start brushing her out using my slicker brush. All right, so since I already brushed out some of the cashmere from Karma's fur, there might not be a whole lot left, but we're gonna see what we can get. So starting off, I'm gonna move the brush down her body. See, I didn't get very much at all. Let's try that again. She's pretty wiggly, so we'll see how this video turns out. But move it down the body, and you can see we've got some nice cashmere there. So every, every one to three times that you move the brush down their body and get that cashmere, then take the clump off of the brush and put it in the bag. Now be sure that when you're taking it off of the brush, sorry, I can't show me doing this in the camera, but you want to take it off nice and gently so that it comes out in one big clump like this. Now that you know how to do it, I'm going to speed up this video and you can try it at home with your goats. Make sure that when you are collecting the cashmere off of your goats, you want to notice that the weather has warmed up and you can kind of see that their cashmere is coming out already. And that's how you know that it's time to collect it. With this cashmere, I'm hoping to either sell it raw or make it into yarn and then sell it. Please comment below if you may be interested in purchasing some cashmere or some cashmere yarn. And let me know what you think of this whole cashmere collecting process. Yesterday I brushed out Karma's cashmere and today is the next day and I'm going to brush out my Kiko Buck Santiago's cashmere. Um, so I'm going to go get that big guy on the stand right now and brush him out and see what 
cashmere he's got from the undercoat of his fur. So after I get him all brushed out, I'm going to compare the cashmere of Karma the Boer Goat and Santiago the Kiko Buck and see maybe the difference of the Boer cashmere and the Kiko cashmere and then I also have a little bit of La Mancha Boer Cross cashmere from Cassie when she was here and um, so I'll compare that and see who has the finest, neatest fiber of all the goats and so let's get to it. Let's put Santiago on the stand and get his cashmere all brushed out. <music> of the cashmere from three different breeds of goats, a Kiko goat, a Boer goat, and a Boer La Monte Cross goat. So I have them in a plastic bag here. I'm going to label them with their breed and their names so that the seller can be able to see which cashmere they like best or which one they like worst and that way I'll be able to know which ones I will take the time to collect next year and which ones that I won't even bother collecting the cashmere. Like once in a while you get some really bad cashmere from one goat that's just not worth taking the time to rush it out. So anyway, I have a little bit of Cassie's in this plastic bag right here. So this is La Mancha Boer Cross cashmere. Looks like hers is a tannish color. And then Karma, the Boer goat that I was leasing her cashmere is like a grayish brown color. I got quite a bit from her. And here's hers. And then Santiago, my Kiko Buck. I got his cashmere. And his, to me, I think he, his is the best quality. I think he's the winner. Kiko goats are known to produce a very nice, fine cashmere. And a lot of Kiko goats are white. Like, I have Luna and Santiago and their babies. They're all white. That's the most common color found in Kikos. And they produce some really nice cashmere. And it should make a really nice yarn. So, I like Santiago's best. And I think that out of all of those goat cashmeres, the Kiko goat is the best. Thanks so much for watching today's video. Please subscribe if you haven't, and thanks so much for following my adventures. Um, and make sure you share my channel with others, to people who you think may like my channel. Hit that subscribe button and give the thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Bye!